As loud as you can. Well, that's the forward end of the old original plank. And they just put a scarf in here, which I don't know how long it is. And of course, it's Luan, which is not good wood. And it's just like I'm mystified why they did that, other than they were spent just for cheap. time or cheap or something. I don't know. All right, what else don't we like here? Well, this is bad. What do we got here? About an 18-inch plank with scarf with what appears to be a really bad glue job. Got some Bondo or other filler going on there. And if you go back, the same plank has another 18 inch or so. And again, another bad scarf job. See how poorly that fits? Yeah, you got a lot of that. And then one frame bay away is a butt, original or not, I can't tell. Continue back. Got lots of filler. There's a short, you can see a short plank beginning here. See all that glue sticking out? Yeah. That, I believe, is part of that mess we saw in the lazarette. Remember when there was like six butt blocks in an area this big? Yeah. And a couple of scarfs, one above the other, not on a frame. And then, of course, you have this, this, short planks. We got some damage down here. We've got this little baby thing right here. This yep. little bit right there. We got some damage here. Let's Looks see. Looks like it. electrolysis. We've got uh, about a five foot plank made out of blue wands, which is a very inferior timber. But then the real trouble starts down here. And we can see the boat also how it. There's some issues with how it, the, the waving. Looks like Highway 32. Maybe can't, can't see that. <laughs> but here's where the real trouble is. All of these butts and short planks in the belly. And a bad scar here. Yeah. But short plank is about three feet long. Say it a little louder. This plank is only about three feet long. With this another real short scar. Directly above a butt. Short come, scarf. Yep. Yeah. When we come back up here, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve butts in an area roughly two by six feet. So, not good to have so many butts? Muy malo. No butts about it? Few good butts go a long way. <laughs> All right, let's stop. Okay, we're gonna go look at the starboard side now. Okay, back here in the horn timber. Let's go nice and slow. We've got a very short scarf okay, plank. Okay, hold on a second. Scar short scarf plank. Okay. Uh, we have a Luan plank. Yep. Why they use this Luan wood? Well, it's it's much. Easier to get. It's very inexpensive, and uh, but nobody just, said get inexpensive wood. But sometimes it's just what they have. And down here we have about a three-footer, again scarf with what appears to be a really bad fit. So we don't know what's going on inside there. Something else cooking here. Don't know. We've got two cracked planks here in the tuck. By the way, these are real fun to play because the rabbit is shaped like this on the inside. So a one inch plank has to start out about an inch and a half or more thick mm. to get that shape, both inside and out. Then it gets a lot easier down here because you're in the flat. Anyway, moving on up this way. Pretty much the same story. Short ports. Lots of butts in a very small area. Short planks. Some slash green here. What's that? This is what they call slash green. Slash green? Slash or flat. It's okay, but it's not the best thing to use. You got a very short blue one. Point here with scarfs and butts everywhere. Scarfs and butts. We got a little oil slick going here. Diesel from the keel. Got some more multiple butts in a very small area. 
up here. Multiple butts. These here. Yep. Forward, it's a little better, but we got a real shorty up here. Again, scarfed, which is not the best idea. Okay, that's the red patch. Yeah, now what do we got going down down okay, here? Well, I see this right here. This is very classic. <laughs> this is called the forefoot. I love the one line, it's called the stem. Comes down, and the forefoot goes back a few feet, depending on the design, onto the keel where it's bolted. And there's bolts right here that generally go bad because they're hard to get to. The mast step is right there, I believe. And so rather than replace the bolts, they put a lead patch over it. I think the odds are five or six to one that we'll see in the x ray. That those bolts are bad. And what about this little crack in here? Um, or is that just... Well, that's drying out, mainly. Okay. So, what we want to do on here is get something back on there. Reef that out, that filler, and get something on there as soon as possible to stop that. All of this... See, this is oak. And oak is very bad about doing that. Is that original? It probably is. Kind of funky, but it could be just to get a little chip out of there, put a piece of it. Not the end of the world. These are important bolts here. So we'll get the x ray on that? Yeah, because this is where the stem joins the forefoot. And it's got kind of good to have that. Going you know, sailing the weather, yeah. the forestay is pulling up on the bow. Uh -huh. And so it pulls on that joint. It really pulls on that, and that's why you get you get leaks going the weather, and then as soon as you park the boat, it stops leaking. So this right. Is a, this is another joint. This is a metal plate. Just